a perfect storm. You watched the fights? I saw, I watched them uh, the next day because I was at Flappers doing right. my show while the fights were. Well, I was. At, we had problems, but even with the SPN, we had problems. Like yeah. my girl couldn't get it. She's like, I, we tried getting it. Then she goes, then I had to watch it on my phone because it won't work on the TV. Yeah. A bunch of people had problems. I was just it trying from, to figure it out. In Indianapolis, the Hooters was right across the street from the club. So I just ran across there and, and like I didn't even say, I wanted to say, take pictures afterwards, but I just wanted to see Cowboy fight. And, I'd rather have someone take a hammer to my dick than watch a fight at Hooters. Well, you know what? It was empty. It was fucking me and Matt and then his friends went over there and nobody was there. Yeesh. And we went right there and watched the fights. That that uh, that was uh, what'd you think? What'd you think of the fights? Which Say, one? Well, um, Henry Cejudo is. I mean, that guy, I thought Marlon Mar Moraes was gonna was was gonna figure him He's out. He's amazing. He's amazing. And then that Olympian, that gold medalist, that he was getting outclassed early on. He's getting the, destroyed. I, right. like, How the fuck's he gonna do this? And then don't get me wrong. I think it's a matter of Henry Cejudo being a beast, but it was more of Marlon Moraes just. Weak minded, you think he, so? Yeah, well, he started taking knees and getting punched. Well, right. no, he stopped, he just kind of stopped doing what was so great. It was working, he just stopped. And then you Staying know, on you, the outside and you know, he's having a, uh, an issue when Coach Henry has to go. Then he, he obviously he's quitting the gym, there's something going on there. When Mark Henry goes, Come on, think about what your mom sacrificed to get you here. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. That's deep. so they must see that. That he's broke before. That's mm. that's something you wouldn't say. He's so damn it's good. Dire he's, he's gotten himself to that point, right? So sometimes when the going gets rough, though, every, everyone's super talented. When the going gets rough, like he he fucked Cejudo up, but Cejudo wasn't going away. Well, and then that, you see him like it, yeah. sitting in a pocket with Cejudo. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? You see Mark Henry behind like this. Like you what? Did, are you, I didn't see yeah, that. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. And then Cejudo just gets him into this brawl and just kind of took crazy. Over. Say, say that 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 mindset for Sehudo, that that gold medal mindset. I mean, winning a gold medal in the Olympics, like in wrestling, like I can't think of anything harder. You know, so he's been. I think he lived at the Olympic Training Center for three years exactly, when he was eighteen, yeah. Yeah. and just that that training, that, that 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 it's like the same thing with Daniel Cormier. That level of training, that there's no quit in him at all. And I think that at the end of the day, it's like you do see that in somebody's eyes. It's like this guy's never going to quit. I'm punching him as hard as I can, but it was working. yeah. Marlon was melting. And he also looks like Jeff Bezos on steroids. We're aware of this, right? <laughs> he has a good body. He looks identical to Jeff not Bezos. Not quite. I don't want you to get They look a little identical. Bit. I, when he I'm was fighting, gonna, it's all I could see. I'm not going to give you that. Excuse me? They look identical, sir. sir. Let me see it again. If Bezos get, got on TRT, a oh, fucking hearty. He's rocked right? out of his mind, by the way, this kid. Yeah. And Mitrion, mm -hmm. who just trained with him, said that he was that way when he was broke. It's not... It's not like he's got. That's natural. I'm sorry. What are you saying? That's natural. No, no, no. Mitrione used to train with him when he was broke. Mitrione said he was. I said, is that that looks like his body looks enhanced? Oh. Matt oh. said, I don't want. I'm not. I, I, I'm really not. I, I really respect him. I'm not saying this, but Mitrione said that dude's body was just like that when he had no money. So he's definitely not on anything. He's just a fucking rocked out motherfucker. Interesting take there. Um, yeah. yeah. Good fights though, yeah. Our boy well, so, Cowboy. So well, let me ask you this: Cowboy's about haircut, huh? Let me ask you. Yeah, well, he's going to hood or? Before we get on the Cowboy, I want to talk about that. Should he's losing Cejudo, in the top two. Should Sehudo? Would you would you tell Sehudo to go challenge Holloway? And what do you think happens? Uh, no, there's too many. There's too many good guys at 135. He has he has to do way more work at 135 before he jumped to 45. Yeah, the UFC wouldn't even let him entertain that. It wouldn't. No, huh. no. There's too many fights at 35 for him. way too many. He called all the guys out. There's there's great fights for him at 35. Like who? Um, at 35, um, I mean Stir. Well, Sterling just won. He'd be a beast for him. Dominic Cruz, Garbrandt. Like there's is, some. Fun is Dominic guys Cruz there. still? F yeah, is he still wants to fight. He just came off that injury though. Wow. But Cruz is a big name. Uh, Sterling would be fun. Sterling deserves it. He had a big win. And then, uh, you know, Cody, Cody Garbrandt just needs to win one. He's right back there, oh, too. Right. There's way more fights at 30, 45. Mm. I mean, also, he's not getting paid. Like, okay, go be triple champion. The UFC's like, mm. Mm. small guys don't get paid. They don't get paid. Like, he got on the mic and went, I want to get paid heavyweight money. It's never happening, which is a bummer, right? It's never happening. Yeah. So good. So good. So is Mighty Mouth. Forever, so is Mighty forever, Mouth. forever. So is Mighty Mouth. You don't get paid. 
The small guys just don't get paid. I, I'm intrigued by business. I'm intrigued by the idea of him fighting Max Holloway, who's way bigger and way. But longer. It's, it's silly to talk about. It's never well, going to happen. Well, because well, 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 he has so much work to do at 35. Does he? Like, I mean, he beat he beat arguably the best 35 ever, T.J. Dillashaw. But he beat him at 25. Beat him at 25. So that doesn't count, does okay. it? As 35. Okay. So he's had one fight at 35. Okay. So you can jump to 45. You got to do work at 35. He's got to fight Gar... Wait, this isn't even a conversation. Wait, really? I think Bieber and fucking Tom Cruise have a better chance to fight. <laughs> really? Yeah, you seem like you don't jump to 45. Hmm. 45 stacked. It is stacked. You think the UFC's going to go, okay, so you hold the belt at flyweight, which you won't have to defend that. You hold the belt at bantamweight, which you won't have to defend that. Then go jump over at fucking feather. I mean, for for, for, for pure eyes on, on you know, for pay-per-view numbers, I think that would be a big fight. People would watch it. You think? Uh, yeah, to see, for the first time in UFC history, because Seattle would jump at the opportunity, could he win three belts in three divisions? That's all I'm saying. And you think UFC would do that? And then go back to 45. You think UFC would do that? I, I don't know why they wouldn't. It, it doesn't work. That's not their business plan. Hmm. Because then, then, so he holds three belts, so you're holding up two entire divisions. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I know it's it's like fun. So you want to protect you want to protect the forty five. It's like a fun fuck fanboy thing to talk. Like, it doesn't. Yeah. Like when he said on the mic, I'm like, oh, that's not. It's just not. It's not gonna. Happen. It's fun to talk about, but that's not happening. Right. It's just you'd have to hold up three divisions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope he gets paid, but yeah, I just it's not. But at that size, they just don't pay you. It's so weird. It's just because people are just ultimately not interested in small men. Right. The, they're just n name the biggest superstar that the Mighty Mouse is the biggest. He's never just a big. Yeah, they just don't bring in the money like the big boys. Yep, it's the market value. It's not hating on Cejudo. Yeah, do you think he's the best combat sports athlete of all time? Do I? I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, I I think you have to. So gold medal, uh, gold medal, and I mean, first ever to own a gold medal yeah. in the Olympics beats and, beats Mighty and, Mouse, arguably the pound for pound. Right, beats T.J. Dillashaw, you know. Say what you will, very quick fight, but well, he, that doesn't matter. He's definitely in the conversation. I mean, you know, he's he's uh, 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 the worst haircut belongs to Cowboy. Um, <laughs> he's a Hare Krishna. That's a Hare Krishna haircut. <laughs> so I, don't I don't know, know what, what he's doing. He is like I don't know. It's what like he's losing he's in the front. So <laughs> like, you know, let's just dude. Can you not do the back? Like Cowboy, let's cut. It's that very hamsterish. Hair. Of course, it's hamsterish. <laughs> He looks like a Hare Krishna. <laughs> like, what are you I doing? Don't know I, what's going on? I there. have a pro. I've been it's, meaning it was, to talk about it. Is all I, it's when he walked out, went, "Boy, is that a mullet?" Don't touch the back. I want to grow it out. I want to fluff. But it. it's Can like fluff the back? it's like faded and skinny, and then. But it's not. It's it, not it's a, a mullet. I've it's like seen. A, it's a squirrel tail. He has a squirrel tail. He's it's like Davy a squirrel Crockett. man bun. Fucking Davy Crockett. It's pretty. He looked pretty cool, though. I got to be honest. Look, he's he's, cool. he's 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 the most decorated in men. He's the he's the most decorated fighter in UFC history. He is the most decorated, most wins, uh, most. I mean, he's got. Look at. Did you see what all the the list of what he's done? It's crazy. He's incredible. He's just missing missing the just enchilada. Men, missing the big enchilada. It's the only one that matters, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I was I was. Although now, I mean, whose career would you rather have? Cowboys. 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 Well, you didn't hear. You didn't, you didn't hear the... What were we going to tell him? <laughs> but, I mean, already I'm saying Cowboys. As far as like... He, he's well, he, just, has, he has more wins than Darren Cormier. Yeah. Would you rather be Darren Cormier, who's a two-division champion, world champion, or Cowboy? I think in a lot of ways I'd rather be Cowboy. I think he's the most colorful. He's the most popular in a lot of ways. And I think that he he's just... I don't know. I think what he's done is incredible. Even though he hasn't won a belt yet. You know, I'd rather be champion. Number one spot for most knockdowns in UFC history. Number two knockdowns against. I think it's mostly uh, bonuses, right? Most bonuses. Second performances. Overall, he has a lot of awards. We don't need to go through. Yeah, he has a ton of awards. Um, um yeah, I, it was almost. It was a bummer that it did stop in the second. Was the second round or third round? Second round. Yeah. It was a bummer, but also that was going to get ugly for Cowboy. I was glad they stopped it because I I just don't want to see him get punched in the face. He doesn't. He, he's just such a tough fucker that he'll stand there. And but Tony's got that weird, the jabs and all that stuff. Just what about that late? I think hit? I think what Tony. That, I, don't that give a fuck. I don't I don't care. It didn't affect the fight. I don't care. It might have closed his eye up though. Definitely didn't. You see the replay? No. 
So that's why the fight got stopped. So you, or, I know. Did you I, not hear I know, sound? I know, I know why the fight got stopped. So what they, you know, they I re- couldn't hear sound. So no. they replayed it. So if it would have landed in the eye, right, Cowboy would have won via TKO, right. But because landing the chin, it's, it's, that's not re- the reason that I filled up is because he, he blew his nose. nose yeah. That's the only reason. Right. It's not because the punch. Okay. Punch was just, uh, you know, Tony in passion in the heat of the moment right. should have way more self control. Yeah. I don't care. Didn't affect the fight. Yeah. Not yeah, a bad I, guy. Had nothing to no, do with that. No. He he it was starting to get ugly for Cowboy. Hmm. What? Yep. Yeah, Tony's a nightmare. <clears throat> what were you gonna say? I was gonna say that I was glad they stopped it. Yeah, me too. I really was. I, I think Tony's I think I, any... I, honestly after I watched that and after what Tony's been through, I think he's the best one fifty five on the planet. He's the only fifty five er especially at that top level that gets better after three rounds. His cardio, his pace, his cardio, as the rounds go on, you'll see first round, he's kind of a slow starter. Second round starts to gain win. Third round, he's really flowing. Fourth, he's fucking good. Yeah, Fifth, it's caution to the win. He's yeah, the only 55er who can do that. Well, the fight is obviously Khabib and Tony, but he was landing that jab. He just did something about that. He was, he's just such a fucking nightmare, man. He's a nightmare. He's, he's so creative, so confident. He's just... How do you, with Khabib, mm-hmm. if you have to put money on that? Obviously, if Khabib grabs a hold of him, you know. He's going to have his hands full, man. Tony off his is. back is a nightmare. I, you, honestly, my prediction, I think Tony wins via TKO, Dr. Stoppage, because from elbows. I think he cuts Khabib up so bad they have to stop the fight. Wow. I don't think Khabib lasts five rounds with him. Hmm. I think Tony has better cardio, obviously better stand-up. He's better in the, in the uh, uh, for Clinch? transitions. Oh. And I, I think his cardio is better. And I just think he's he's be, he's not going to get submitted. He's going to make Khabib work a whole lot. So by that fourth, fifth round, you, you're going to see a tidal wave of Tony. If if Khabib if Khabib clinches, Tony goes down. I think yes. Khabib can. Cl- he's always going to put you on. Tony can get taken down. Yeah, yeah. Khabib take down anybody. In yes, the world. but but if if Tony can keep Khabib obviously at a distance and stop the not takedown, happen. that's not, not his ha- move. That's not his move. So his so his game is a pressure. He's going to go forward. Tony's going. So they're always going to. There, there's going to be a grappling. He's going to get taken down. He's not going to stay on the outside of the yeah. fight. Khabib. That's not not. That's not. So if he option. if it's if it's takedown if it's a takedown game though, Khabib's going to edge him out. I think. Khabib, Disagree Khabib, really? because Khabib lands those takedown. He's just position guy, and Tony's so good off his back with elbows. He's. I think he's going to make Khabib work a ton. And then what we saw in that uh, Iaquinta fight after the third round, Khabib gets tired and starts shooting far out, and that's Tony Ferguson all day. I think he's gonna make Khabib work, man. Yeah, and and, and Tony's a nightmare to hold down. He's a nightmare. His elbows off his back. His back. He's good, man. I'm, I'm, I think Tony's the best one fifty five on the planet. You think he beats Khabib? I do. Hmm. And I didn't believe that for a while, but I don't know, man. I think he beats him. I just wonder if. I wonder if there's any way you're still on your back as good as you are with a guy like Khabib. You're still at a disadvantage. Because it, you, you, it, Khabib at that point, he's just physics wise. Listen to me, B. Mm. Tony's gonna get taken down, put on yeah. his back. One round, two round, three rounds. By rounds four and five, just from the output of holding Tony down, is when Khabib fades. That fourth and fifth round, Tony gets better. So, like in the Connor fight, yeah. Khabib got tired, remember? Sort of. Got sort of tired. I didn't really Lost the round. That. And, and and missed shots in Al Quinta fight. He got tired. Well, if Tony can weather that storm, he's on the ground. That's that's the big question. Khabib right? doesn't finish guys. The last guy finished. He just punches you for a long time. No, he holds position. Yeah. Well, if Khabib, if 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 Tony doesn't go to his, doesn't kind of try to Grammy roll, go out and get his legs caught the way everybody else does, and have that backpack, then and he can stay on his back. But I can can Tony. <clears throat> If Khabib's on top of you, you know, can Tony deal with that kind of, that kind of fucking? I don't know. I mean, I know what you're saying. No, you got Kevin Lee in a triangle choke. Kevin Lee's pretty fucking good on top. True. I'm really excited about it. Then you got Valentina Shevchenko, my girlfriend. Mm. She killed a girl. <laughs> that was so great. God, I feel so bad for Jessica. Oh. She, she woke up, she goes, what? I got knocked out? Oh, Fuck. I know. It's like you have no idea. She was down for a while. 
it's really bad concussion. And you know what makes it worse is Shevchenko is just like, <laughs> just like. She's just like, she knocked down like tiptoed by like this. Fuck, man. Like, <laughs> I know. She like danced over her. Like, she just whoops, pranced. Whoops, like, whoops. Oh, I almost stepped on you. Almost stepped on you. I was like, Jesus and then just stood Christ, there. man. What a what a and then and then, and then just guy comes to and just Shevchenko with her fine ass <laughs> sister and the killer fucking coaches are just staring at her. I was like, what? oh my god, get out of the cage! Wow. Complete badass. I, my girl says her Spanish is better than hers. I don't. What? Her Spanish is amazing. Trilingual. She's amazing. She's amazing yeah. in general. Yeah. I love her. My girl. I yeah, love my girl goes. Shit. Oh, her Spanish is better than ninety nine percent of Telemundo people in Telemundo. Best by far in the UFC. She was name name someone who's Mexican or Spanish in the UFC. What? She goes way better. Went, really? What? She goes unbelievable. She goes. It's it's literally perfect Spanish. God. How, why? Where does she live? I don't know, man. I think she lived in Brazil too, so she speaks perfect Portuguese as well. Yeah, and she or probably plays Peru, the piano, and she can probably do math. Like what the fuck? Like that's the kind of person. She's so intense. Like God knows what she's about. She shoots guns. D she but, does everything. Uh, but her sister definitely looks Spanish. Go to go to her Wikipedia. What's going on there? Her I'm not Wikipedia? trying to watch a documentary on her. Um, just go to Wikipedia for God's sakes. None of us speak Spanish, and so we don't know how good it is, you know? Yeah, but I'd like So if to you see play it. that chin roll. I wouldn't mind. I wanted to see it, actually. God, she's such a killer. Um, the early life, Shevchenko, USSR, Soviet, um, Taekwondo, Thai. Oh, she's, I didn't know she was Russian. Mm -hmm. I thought she was Polish. You serious, bro? Yes. Wow. I did not uh, know that. Man, there's not there have because why is her sister so dark and fine? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her sister looks straight Spanish. Mm. Jeez. Maybe she's her half sister. That's what I'm thinking. From Brazil. They don't look, no, not Brazil. No, they do not look this. They do not. They don't look, look the same at all. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, her Spanish is money. What other fight was so on? She only speaks English. Not. I'm sorry. Not uh, Portuguese. English, Russian, and Spanish. You made that up about USSR. the USSR. I thought she did. Oh, from a Kyrgyzstani family. Um, yeah, I wonder where the fuck the Spanish comes from. She lived somewhere for a while where they spoke Spanish. You bro science in this right I now, I remember man? this in interviews. I think it was Peru. And she just picked it up there? At 12, yeah. she knocked out a 22-year-old opponent earning her the moniker Bullet from her trainer. Pavel Fedorov. Yeah, she's killing it. Damn. What other fights were on that? Oh, Tatiana did work. She get the next title shot, I would imagine. Mm. Sterling looked great. Calvin Kadar <sighs> fucking killed a guy. I didn't see that fight. Bad knockout. Ugh. Yeah, those last three, man. Cejudo, Shevchenko, and then obviously first one with the eye thing. My boy Jimmy Rivera lost again. That heavyweight fight, not fun. It was a little fun moment. When you see my back ripple and I pull myself up like a chimp, like a chimp, 30 like times chimp. while talking to you, why wouldn't I give that to you as it's inspiration? It's a gift. It's a gift, really. It's a gift.